go around the local area. Imagination Station, of course. And joining us this morning, Kristen Bewley here, and we have a classic experiment going on. Exactly. So let's start it off by saying, Ryan, you've been talking about the weather. You're probably yep. parched. You want a refreshing beverage. Oh, so... that'd be very nice. I don't know. Now, if we... would you would you mm, open that? I don't think I'm going to open it. It has a little too much fizz. <laughs> You're exactly right. Yeah. So here, you can put that down. Okay. What we're going to be doing is using that fizz. Now, you're right to not open that up. Not only is that a refreshing beverage, yes. it is a carbonated beverage. And that's the key. Exactly. So we have our water, we have our flavoring, and carbon dioxide gas. Okay. So what happens when we put our carbon dioxide gas in our mixture is we put it in our bottle with a whole lot of pressure. Now, I'm going to open this up. And you didn't shake this one I, up. This I, one's promise, good. I promise. Okay. Although it fizzes a lot. <laughs> maybe, maybe we did shake this one up a little bit. In transit, in transit. So what did we notice? What sound did you hear? It, it like fizzes, it pops, it sizzles almost. Yes, you can hear that carbon dioxide yeah. gas being released when we introduce a lower pressure. Okay. And we break that, that pressure. And now when we shake it up, we create a lot of bubbles, a lot of fizz, that when we open that up, release the pressure, bam, we have... Just wants to go crazy. Exactly. So we don't want to shake it up, though. We want to right. do some fun chemistry, classic chemistry, like you said. This one's a classic. I know. So have you ever heard of, like, a Mentos fountain? I've heard of this. In fact, I've seen a few YouTube videos for this. These are pretty neat. You're going to live it, man. Okay. Sorry. So I have some Mentos for you. I'll tell okay. you what to do with them. Now, the reason why this works is the Mentos actually has something called a nucleation site on it. Okay. That's so a big word. It is a big word <laughs> for a very little thing. Basically, it has a rough surface. Okay. You can't see it with the naked eye, but if we got out our electron microscope, we could see all sorts of cracks and crevices and things like that. Perfect for carbon dioxide gas to attach to, make bubbles, build up pressure, and frizz. Wow, so, so this little thing, it actually feels smooth in your hand, but the carbon dioxide gets inside of there. Exactly. It gets on those nucleation sites. The nucleation sites draw them out. So Very you know cool. what? We just have plain old carbonated water. All right, so All right, I we're going to drop this. them in on, on three. We're going to drop them. Okay. All right, so three, two, one. And it's going to do its own thing. There you go. Yeah, so that's... You get to make a mess. <laughs> I like it. It is a little mess. It's going to make a bigger mess, though, okay. right? So basically, everyone thinks of Mentos, but it doesn't have to be Mentos. It can be any candy or anything with a nucleation site. Rock salt will work. Really? I know. And what we love to use are lifesavers. Lifesavers have nucleation sites. Yeah. And if we're going extreme, we hook up this little device like so. We actually drill a hole into our bottle cap. We take a paper clip. You do go extreme. I like it. Oh, just do it. <laughs> and then we put our um, our lifesaver paper clip on our bottle cap, and we put it in place with a binder cap. It's almost like a so, self-made timer for whenever you want it to go off. Exactly. And what happens is with our hole, that's going to build up more pressure, causing all that carbon dioxide gas, the fizz, the bubbles, to shoot out of one hole longer, more extreme, cool stuff like that. So that's why this one is better for us. Very cool. For today's purposes, yes. So okay, it's going to be pretty cool. And a word of caution for any parents that are watching <laughs> and they think that the kids are home on summer vacation, this is definitely an experiment. There's a reason we're outside for this one, right? Yeah, don't don't try it home. <laughs> Maybe the reason you right make a carpet. big mess. Speaking yeah. of mess, um, we try to use diet soda because it's going to be easier to clean up. Okay. All right, so you want to see this thing go off? All right, so what see? are we doing here? We have a bunch of devices hooked up okay. to our soda pop. I'm going to take this the is middle. Like, okay, you got the middle one. I'm okay, so you take your middle red. Okay, middle red. And then go ahead and pull. We're just going to pull. And wow. go ahead and take the middle green. Middle green. Middle green, go ahead and pull. All right, pull. There we go. And we have our side <laughs> guys right here. I'm gonna take my side guys. Can you get up there? All right, there let's like see if I can get there. Here you go. Oh, there all we right, go. go. I'll take you one can do it. Team. You can do all the fun. There we go. And I know, all <laughs> the fun, all the fun. <laughs> there you go. I know, not too messy, right? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, there should be music going on in the background of this. Wow. <laughs> You get some serious height with that, and that's because it has to go through the tiny hole, right? Through the tiny hole, exactly. So we have all that pressure going through the tiny hole. So you'll notice when we did this one, it kind of came up, and it just kind of drizzled over the sides a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, if you do an experiment like this one, if you just put the, the little hole in there. Yes, exactly. Wow. So ideally, drill the hole prior to that and then replace that cap. You probably don't want to do that with that on. Yeah, probably not. All right, Imagination Station, always a fun place to go for us here. What are some really cool things going on down there at Imagination Station? So if you love this, you don't want to do it at home, come yeah. To our super splatter science camp. Um, we have a few spots left. That just sounds left. fun. Super splatter. Yeah, like we'll it. do stuff like this all the time. <laughs> really messy. A few spots left in the Fourth of July camp. We have a few spots in the other camps too throughout the summer, yeah. but they are filling up fast. And then also Father's Day this weekend. Yes. Yep. So we have dads getting free with a paid kid admission. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Fun way to spend Father's Day, of course, nice and cool as well at Imagination Station. Oh, uh, we think so. All right, Kristen. <laughs> thank you very much. A lot of fun here and. Um, I'm not going to be in charge of, of cleaning this one up today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get the hose. That's right. All right. Uh, we got much more.
Toledo Daybreak coming up right after this.